evening, everybody, and welcome to Westchester Talk Radio. I'm Bob Marone, along with Matt Zako. We are produced this evening by Shark Creative and made possible by Hightower of Westchester, Robeson, Jaguar, Land Rover of New Rochelle, and Michael Labriola Landscape Designs. Now, we're here once again uh, at the Westchester Magazine's Best of Westchester event here at the Harbor Club. Actually, it's the Glen Island Harbor Club here in New Rochelle, New York. And with us is one of the best of Westchester. Now, before I, uh, winners, but before I introduce her, I want you to think about where you live, how messy or disorganized it is, or may be, or may not be, if it's not good for you, or you're getting ready to move, or you've already, there's stuff on the truck and it's coming to your new home and you need to get settled. Well, imagine an organization that can reorganize your house, that can get rid of the clutter. To me, this is God's work. I'm, I, I, we need organ music, Matt, for this. This is, ah, so I am happy. And I just, you can see I'm stunned with this. I'm so amazed that such an organization exists. It's called 123 Organized, and the uh, proprietor is Marla Alt, and she calls herself the moving whisperer. Where have you been all my life? <laughs> right here in Westchester. Can you tell how excited I am to do this? Uh, without a doubt. Okay. How, how did you come about doing this kind of business? We'll talk about your winning awards. In a, how did you come about doing this? Uh, people used to bribe me to come over and help them organize. Now, are you one of those people who has OCD and has to organize everything? Or is it a gift beyond that? I think it's a gift beyond that. Because we love to help people organize and simplify their lives. So wherever I go, I'm making their lives better. Okay. How long have you been doing it? 17 years. 17 years. What made you start this business? The fact that I knew I could help people and simplify their lives and make their lives better feels like God's work. How come you know? What inspired you? Did you walk into someone's house that looks like mine? Or did you... Um, watch parents or family have a messy house and then need to fix it up? What, 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 what said, I should do this, people need it? I should do this, people need it, is really the fact that my friends had moved into an apartment and they made it into a duplex and they said to me one day, this is great, but we'll never really move in. And I said, what? I said, I'm going to move you in. And from there, it's been history. Now, what did you, was, what did you do before that? You're a young woman. Yes, I worked in high tech. Okay, so you were a geek yeah. before that. Were you no, a programmer always, or a data always, administrator? What did you do? I was always on the details and logistics side. Oh, no <laughs> kidding. Okay, details and logistics. Now, I, people are sitting at home or listening in their car or wherever or watching it on, on YouTube, whatever the case may be. They want to know this. If I walked into your home right now, what would I say? Happiness, joy, organized Is it very organized? Yes. Okay. Uh, are, are you married? You have a family? Yes. How do they feel about it? They're used to it. <laughs> they have uh, no choice. Ah, but what was it like in the beginning? Um, it was do or die. No, really. <laughs> so, so was it always that way from the beginning, from yes. the moment you had your own? Okay. Yes. All right. Now let's get into Should down to Should I give you an example tax. of that? Yes, I want an example. When my kids were little... I had identical laundry baskets side by side. They couldn't read. So one had a white sticker and one had a rainbow sticker. So they knew where to put their clothes for the laundry. You really did that? I did. Did you assign them numbers? So each kid a separate <laughs> number? That's number one. Number two, where do you go for your mental health help? Because you... <laughs> anyway, all right. Oh, therapy? No, yeah. we are the therapy. Yo, I the realize. Therapy. No, it's, it's actually a wonderful thing that you do because a lot of people, even when they're well-intentioned, either can't get to it Correct. Or don't do it very well. What is the number one thing? You go into a house that's messy. How do you... Well, I'm, no, I'm combining two questions here. How do you get people to throw stuff out, number one? And number two, what's the first room you look at? The first room we look at is always the first room that we enter the house with because that's pretty much tells all of who the person is. And we are able to... I would say influence people in a positive way to get rid of things by making them understand that there's very little that they actually really need. 
it comes down to useful and beautiful. And if it doesn't fall under those categories, let someone else benefit from your stuff. Okay, now what about those kinds of things, tchotchkes, people have collections of things, some people collect coffee cups, whatever it may be, odd hobbies. You don't get in the way of those, do you? Or how do you manage that? Well, it depends because we deal a lot with seniors who need to downsize and they know they're not going to have room for their collections. Mm -hmm. So what we do is a lot of times we'll pick out their favorites, we'll take a picture for them so they have it for keepsake, and they'll be able to part with something that was very meaningful. Okay. You get them to do that. How long does it take to convince them that they should? It's honestly, it's a process and it's not the first day and it's not the second day. Usually by the third day, they start to understand they really can't take everything with them. Okay. What's the most difficult room to fix? The most difficult room to fix would definitely be a basement. Oh God, I bet. How is your pricing? Our pricing, it varies. Every job is tailored to a person, oh, a person's need and whether they're moving it has we have a different price point organizing or staging their home each one has its own price what about time frame how long does it take to do the typical three bedroom two uh, bath three bedroom typically would be a week okay now someone's moving you're going to pack for them absolutely how long will that take so it, again it depends on the size of the house but usually we can pack up the house within two days we also do moving supervision, so that's one more day, and then we unpack in two days as well. So we have people who go on vacation and give us the keys for both locations, and they come back to a beautifully organized home. And they give you carte blanche. You tell them, I'm going to reorganize it? Absolutely. And you'll decide where the furniture goes when it goes there? We discuss it ahead of time. Did you come out of the clouds or something? Where the <laughs> heck? Uh, this is wonderful. <laughs> Again, Thank the you. organization is 123 Organized, the proprietor, Marla Alt. They call her the moving whisperer, and you can see why. How do people get a hold of you? What would you like to leave them with? Well, like I say to everyone, if you know how to count, you can easily find us because we are 123 Organized. We're on the web. We're everywhere. We love to help people. And check us out. You will be surprised. And you want to? www.123organized.com. And your two awards? And our two awards are Best Stager and Closet Organizer. Okay. Thank you very, very much for being us, uh, with us here on Radio Westchester. On Westchester Talk Radio. I'm losing my mind today. <laughs> Thank you so very much. It is our pleasure. Right. Take care. Thank you. Bye -bye.